Ah yes, the KPIs are up. Who the f*** is Nasdaq? <laughs> Today, we're going to be shopping on Timu.com to build a brand new gaming setup. With a $100 budget, how good can it be? All right, so um, let's just start this basic. I'm just gonna type in gaming setup. Waterproof G21 mechanical keyboard with RGB backlighting for PC gaming includes mouse and keyboard. Great quality and my son's so happy about this keyboard. I love it. Lol, it's very colorful. Okay, so uh, great reviews. Add to cart. It was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lights on this look fucking rad. Yo, that looks awesome. This one review, excellent quality, very good. I remember them looking a lot muchote. Huh? An Arctech YT500 mini projector for $2? It's $2. <laughs> it's two See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's a fucking scam. The tripod is two dollars. <laughs> what is this? A super large 3D pig trotter food pillow? Oh, it looks like a Filipino lechon. Why would you want that? It's only two thirty nine though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this one looks really cool. It's just like blue waves and water, but I think this will pop on our desk. Two piece smart RGB IC TV light bars. Actually, yeah, don't mind if I do. Okay, so we got $99 worth of items in our cart. Let's go check out and we'll be back in a couple of days once it's all said and done. We'll take a look and see what we got. So it's been about a week or two and all of our stuff showed up from Timu.com. First up, we got our M1 RGB lighting programmable gaming mouse from Lang. Packaging actually looks surprisingly good. Okay, I mean, the mouse is just kind of floating in the box, but that's okay. I mean, this thing was $10.98. Don't like that rattle. Actually, funny enough, on the box, it says that it's rated for 10 million button lifetime. I mean, I don't even know how many times I'd click a mouse in a day, but I mean, for a $10 mouse, I mean, if it breaks in like 10 seconds, I guess you could just buy another one. That's what these things are. These are basically disposable products, at least in my mind, if we're buying them from Timu. Since we just unboxed the mouse, why not take a look at a mouse pad? So this one was $6.98. But uh, this looks pretty nice, actually. And it complements the white colorway on our mouse. Look at that. This combo is certainly not gonna win any awards for how much glide you get. This is far from smooth. The mouse pad itself, I think is fine. It might just be more the feet on the mouse. There's no plastic on the feet. Oh, there's, yeah. We, we almost pulled a short circuit. Oh, that is worse. <laughs> that, that is sticking onto the mouse pad even worse. Let's take a look now at a keyboard. Look at this. This is just really odd because the picture on the box is definitely not what I originally signed up for. To be fair, I think the picture on the back is a little more representative. I did make this whole purchase on the premise that I am buying a super cheap mechanical setup. Waterproof G21 mechanical keyboard. Um, I love that this is the Fashion Office Dazzle color keyboard. Though I did get the right keyboard at least by the model name because that's what it says in my team order. So uh, let's just see what we got here. Boop. First impressions, it looks nice. It is uh, definitely cheap feeling. This is probably the lightest keyboard I have ever used in my life. Like not an exaggeration. You gotta see that there's nothing really to it. In fact, a lot of the plastic for the body is just really hollow. It is a super light keyboard. Like, you see how much airtime that got? <laughs> oh yeah, that's not mechanical. Kind of curious about what that LED lighting will look like, but I'm going to actually throw this into our setup to get the overall impressions on look and feel and just how it functions. Now in our gaming setup, we have again our mouse pad, our keyboard, and our mouse itself. And honestly, this setup ain't too bad. I mean, it's not amazing. I'll say that the mouse is actually pretty decent. So you have a DPI selector switch on the top here, which kind of rattles a bit. I don't love that. And some of the buttons are a little hard to the touch, but at least they do feel kind of tactile. And the scroll wheel is honestly fine. I'll say that tracking with this mouse 
is surprisingly decent. I don't have any way of really telling what like the polling rate is or anything like that. I'm not gonna say that you should use this if you are a professional or competitive gamer. But if you just needed to use a mouse for gaming for what, like $10? And the fact that it is pretty light means that it does the job. <laughs> The keyboard, on the other hand, is another story. Again, $15, there's not really much you can complain about, but if I am being nitpicky, this is not a mechanical keyboard, like it said it was on the listing. But most importantly, it's not even mechanical feel. This is really just a membrane keyboard, which does give you some tactile bumps, but a lot of it just feels mushy and kind of cheapy. Um, there is a lot of flex on this board. I mean, if you're heavy gaming, you're going to definitely feel that. And the RGB lighting is RGB in its most basic form, literally a green LED, a red LED, and a blue LED. So really, it's not the best for aesthetics. And at that point, you might as well just get a very solid membrane keyboard. You know, those cheap ass Dells that you'd find at Goodwill would probably do the same, honestly, and would probably be even more reliable, if I'm honest. Hell, even the printing on some of these keys look really cheap. Like, you can see the shine of whatever vinyl or whatever the printing material is on it. It just does not look anywhere near premium, but it doesn't even look good to the eye. Then there's our $7 large Wave Aesthetic mouse pad. It looks really nice, not just on camera, but in person. The print quality looks pretty decent. As far as mouse pads go, the actual quality of the feel of it doesn't feel that premium, which again, $7 mouse pad, can't really complain there as well. You do feel it, especially when you move your mouse. And part of it is the mouse itself. The mouse does have glides, which work okay. They're not exactly the most flush, especially in the corners here, where they can actually dig into the mouse pad itself, which adds to the friction of when you're tracking with your mouse. I also feel like part of it is the mouse pad itself. Now, grabbing our glorious mouse, just gliding this along here, it feels rougher. This is not really the most ideal way of doing this, but I have our Corsair mouse pad here, which uses better materials. And I think the weave is a bit better. It's a bit more intricate, um, definitely way smoother on our glorious, but take our Timu mouse and that's already a lot better. For $7, this mouse pad is pretty decent, but I'd spend a few more dollars and get something a little more premium, especially if I want to game more on it something that feels way smoother. All right, thank you, Luke. So this is the gaming headset with mic slash RGB rainbow backlit. Let's see what we got here. So this headset, according to Timu.com, is $19.48. This actually kind of looks better than I was expecting. And I say that mainly because of the ear cushions. They actually feel pretty good, <laughs> not gonna lie. They definitely don't sound great. It sounds like uh, SpongeBob walking with his new shoes. You got that John Madden action in the front. 35 down, four, no, 35 down is, no, that, that, the game's over at that point. <laughs> Again, some aspect of this build is better than others, but I think generally overall, I'm actually kind of impressed. A lot of that squeaking is actually this top band. Ah yes, the KPIs are up. Dow Jones? Where is he? <laughs> I never knew him. Who the fuck is NASDAQ? <laughs> Let me plug this in to power at least to see what our RGB looks like. What's it look like? Oh, yo. I mean, yeah, it's a little excessive, but I kind of like the effect. I mean, come on. This actually looks pretty close to what the listing was showing back when I first ordered these. Yeah, no, no, like th this is actually kind of sick for again, how much? Almost 20 bucks. Let's go to the desk and see what this was like to use after a couple of days. The headset in our setup actually looks pretty good with all of our peripherals. It is a bit of a gray compared to the white on our mouse and keyboard. The RGB here is done a lot better than obviously how it is on our keyboard and maybe even on our mouse. What I'm curious about 
with this is how it sounds. At least there are some inline controls though. We do have a little wheel here for volume. And there's even a mute switch, look at that. 12 seconds later. It is muddy as fuck. <laughs> there's no sense of treble at all. It's literally just bass without any detail and it muds over everything. On the upside, this does get pretty loud. Valorant has pretty good audio directionality and you don't really need like surround sound headphones to amplify that. Like I can still hear if people are behind me, to my left or right, in front of me. The directionality is there, so I can't really complain on that front. It does sound like I am a bit underwater. But at the bass level, it does output sound, and loudly at that. Um, would I recommend it? For 20 bucks, I think you can get better headphones, if I'm honest. You could probably even get some name brand ones from like HyperX and stuff for not that much more money. I would go in that direction. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Okay, well, yeah. Hello? Hello? Nope, nope, okay, okay. Yeah, it's the headset. The, the head, the, it's the headset's fault. Next up, we got some LED light bars to spruce up our gaming setup. Now, these are RGB, and supposedly they have an aluminum alloy chassis, which should make it feel a little high quality. 10 seconds later. It's definitely not aluminum alloy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can I say? For $17.48? these on the stands, which they do sit on pretty well, look at that. And they have buttons on the back for all the different modes and stuff for lighting. Look at that, it is moving the lights to the sound of my voice. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa. You know what, I'm having a lot of fun for something that's like 17 bucks, uh, <laughs> you know, this thing is actually surprisingly cool. And also apparently there is a mobile app as well that we can sync to our phone. I'll go ahead and try that out and we'll be right back. So I've added our music light bars to the setup and for 18 bucks, these things are awesome. So they sync up over Bluetooth to my phone via the Tuya app, which a lot of things actually use apparently. I've never personally used it. It showed up pretty much right away. The syncing honestly took about a second. Wow, that was fast. It just showed up, <laughs> okay, and it works really well. So you have a bunch of modes here on the bottom, things you can change like brightness and RGB just as the base. But if you go into modes, you can change into a bunch of different things. This is honestly pretty neat. I wasn't expecting to like this or be as impressed as I am. It might look a little washed out compared to the set lighting that we have, but to the eye in person, these things look really good. The color is pretty saturated, it's not too washed out in person. In fact, you can kind of see it in the reflection of our tinted window over here, which probably better represents what it actually looks like in person. I'm really impressed. For 18 bucks, to add a little bit of ambiance and spice to your gaming setup, this is a really neat set. Yeah, color me surprised. Not bad, Timu, but the next item I'm a bit skeptical about. This is an LED projector that costs us around $28. Now, how good can a $28 projector be? I don't know. All right, so TFT LCD, fine. Native resolution of 320 by 240. So we're not even really standard definition. We're like when you're at a hotel and the Wi-Fi is god awful, but it will support a 1080 signal. So I think this does have HDMI, if I'm not mistaken. It is the most cost efficient high resolution LED projector. Check mark this, but we'll cross this out. It's definitely not high resolution. In fact, it's just uh, it's just resolution, really, at that point. No one laughed at that joke. Very sad. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> so inside the box, we have the projector itself. They certainly saved a lot of money by not painting it. All right, on first impressions, this doesn't look too bad. So HDMI and USB-A on the side for video stuff, and there are also buttons on the top to navigate if you don't want to use the remote. You also have a focus lever on the side. All right, so this is an actual proper projector at the very least. Let's also take this to our studio and see how well this will actually work. A little skeptical, $28 projector. 
It's a bit darker here on set to give our Timu projector the best possible shot at looking good. Let's turn it on and see what it's like. So the thing about projectors is that the closer it is to the wall, the brighter it is, the further away it gets, the less light there is to work with. This remote is really responsive. <laughs> so this does take HDMI. It'll do up to a 1080p signal. Realistically, it's gonna convert that down to whatever the native res of this is, which I believe is like 320p or something like that. Two seconds later. Okay, well, um, that looks scuffed. Uh, you cannot make out anything on that screen. Look, look, the Windows logo is just a square. Uh, the resolution is set correctly, but it did say 1080p 60. Oh my God, which one's which? I can't even navigate this menu. I can barely make out the text on this thing. Trying to get to the screen settings, I can barely see what the menu items are. I mean, like, look, that that's the text. That, uh, believe it or not, those are words. So it does see as a 1080 display. Not that it'll change anything, but let me increase my scale. I think that'll help with the readability of this. <laughs> it didn't really do all that much. I've actually seen this on TikTok and Instagram, and they're like, you can have a movie theater wherever you go. And I think that might be blown a bit out of proportion, but it is kind of cool to have a projector that you can take anywhere that you spent like no money on. It's funny that the screen dooring effect and the low res actually plays through the music video for Idol by Yoasobi, but that is a very specific aesthetic to this music video and probably won't look good for any other pieces of media that you watch. Yeah, um, this definitely looks the best when I take off my glasses. <laughs> and mind you, I don't have the best vision. I'm like 3,000 to 20. Yeah, th th this ain't it. I think you can just spend that $28 and get something better. $28 can go a long way. That's like four Big Macs. Actually, in this economy, it's like two Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> so, should you furnish your gaming setup with items from Timu? Actually, for some things, it might not be so bad. But for others, just save your money and get better things. Don't buy the projector.